And we're back on Southeast Texas Weekly. I'm Kevin Steele, of course, and we have the honor of talking with one of the 36th Congressional District runoff candidates now, Republican from the spring area, Ben Strusan. Welcome to our show. Thanks for coming. Uh, thanks for inviting me back, Kevin, and happy Easter weekend to you and your family. We appreciate it. The big day, May 27th, correct? Correct, yes. You are in a runoff with Dr. Brian Babin for the Republican nomination uh, in the 36th Congressional District. Give us your views. Why are you the best candidate? Well, I think Texans are tired of sending furniture up to Washington, D.C. to occupy offices. And uh, I plan on irritating a few folks and breaking a little China if the voters elect me. Are, is, is Washington broken, as, uh, as we say, at this point? Oh, unquestionably. And I think the big problem goes right back to Republican leadership in the House and the Senate. I do not believe we have been well served by the leaders that we have elected. And uh, if the voters send me up there, that's the first thing I'm going to work on, because the very first vote is who you want as speaker. Let's take a look. You have uh, put forth some of the points that you want to tell the viewers in a political campaign spot. Let's see that political campaign spot now. Let's run the spot first, and then we'll examine uh, uh, some of these other issues. Let's go with the spot. Well, that's a switch. Babin voted to increase school taxes 187%. City taxes 38%. Voted to increase taxes a half a dozen times. Babin and Obama used the same words to defend their tax increases. They said people need to bite the bullet. Ben Strusant is different. He's a grassroots conservative who will never raise your taxes. I'm Ben Strusand, and I approve this message. You may have seen that spot a thousand times. It essentially uh, uh, argues that your, your candidate has called for a half dozen uh, tax increases. The facts that we find just don't show that to be the case. Is that spot in any way misleading in the context of your opponent in uh, as a, a mayor of Woodville and a city councilman between the years of 1980 and 1989, actually decreasing taxes 70 percent in, in uh, uh, if we can take a look at some of our graphics, this is what the city, uh, uh, this is what the chief appraiser, in fact, uh, says regarding uh, the this matter of uh, tax increases sure, as a sure, school Kevin. Board. Well, I thought you might ask me about yeah, that. So we have the minutes that we pulled from the uh, city of Woodville and from Woodville ISD. ISD. And uh, these are convenient facts uh, that he has assembled, and he leaves out the most important parts of the story. What are, what are, and so if you look at the minutes that I have right here, be happy to provide them to you, and we will they, make them available they on they, our website. What do they say to us? They say that he voted to increase tax rates six times when he was when both what? when yeah. he was both uh, on the Woodville ISD as a city councilman, and he actually made the motions when he was mayor to increase property taxes. You do understand so, that 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 his tenure was between 19 was between 1991 and 95. No, his tenure on the school board was between 1981. In 1989, You're correct. and your letter specifically in starts in 1979 and conveniently no, no, no. references that no, point. This references his work on the school board. I, I'm, I'm, I've seen the letter, Kevin. It, there's the a specific say, chart from 1979. The letters say from the city manager that there was an astounding decrease of 70% in ad valorem taxes. Kevin, That's from I, the city I, don't know any, and from, I don't know any county in the state of Texas that reduced property taxes by 70%. In that, a decade, it did was, not happen. That was the city of Woodville that we're talking about there. What was, it, it didn't happen. When we're happen. talking about the Woodville ISD, this is from the chief appraiser, and it says it's just not true that he raised taxes over that period of time. You do understand, there's the words, not true. That's well, from the chief appraiser. Look, I, and he says that, in fact, because of the Robin Hood funding scheme, which you understand how that works in the state of Texas, right? because of those changes, they were not tax yeah, increases. He, that the My tax opponent's rate, response fact, is that he was ordered to raise taxes by a Democrat-controlled legislature. But the tax rate that is, is a part Look, of that the is the old way of thinking, I think. It, it is not a uh, conservative 
message what do, that what do you he mean is delivering. That, the, well, the old I, way of thinking. I just think that voters are tired of constant excuses on the part of politicians but who used to represent them. Well, you're asking to be uh, the leader of this district, sure. and as a politician, you're putting forth the idea that your opponent raised taxes when manifestly he did not. No, I disagree with you completely, <clears throat> and, and your comment is completely inaccurate because we, again, I submit to you, and I wish you had looked at this. Mm -hmm. Prior to conducting this to interview, we I would have been happy to, to but these are the minutes well, from the Woodville ISD you have talked and in the past from, about the, from the city. Within the camp, within, within the 36th Congressional District, you do not, do you? You live on the other side of Correct. Spring? Correct. I live in Spring, yes. And you said you're going to move into the, the district if, if the you If the voters send me to Washington to represent them, yes, I. if I'm the nominee, Our my viewers wife today and I, in the 36th Congressional District from Orange County to, to Harris County, Ask us to ask the question of you in this manner. Sure. Where is Rayburn country? Well, I think... Where's the I, pig stand? I, Liberty, Where's Liberty, the pig stand? Liberty County is where I want to live. Liberty County is, Li where, Liberty is where Rayburn County. country is? No, no. Liberty County... Well, Rayburn, Rayburn country, country is near Lake Rayburn. Where, where is the pig stand? Look, Liberty County is where I want to live the reason 30 we, miles. The reason we ask the question is because you don't live in the district, and so the question for Kevin, our Kevin, you are aware is, that the district boundary was drawn by a three-judge federal panel the, out of San Antonio, the question, aren't you? The question for our viewers and is, you are does, aware this, that it, it does this constitutionally, I have a right and a and a certainly you a qualified to run. And so here's, here's the question I'm trying to put forward to you. I wish you could answer it. Is The question is, how is it that you are somebody who understands the needs and views of the people because, on this side of the because district. Because, Kevin, I live 30 miles from where the majority of the population of this district is located. My you opponent live lives 100, from, mi 100 you live miles on the away. Side of Houston. No, I on don't. The other side of Spring. Uh, Kevin, I live 30 miles from the vast majority of the voters in this district, all up and down Deer Park and in Clear Lake and on the eastern side of Harris County, and my opponent lives 100 miles away. We've got to be back with more questions right after this break. Stay with us. Thank you.